and welcome to Fits on the Go. My name is Melissa Lyle and I'm a cardiology fellow at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here at ACC 19 and I'm joined by Dr. Mandeep Mira, professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, director of the Brigham and Women's Hospital Heart and Vascular Center, prior president of the Heart Failure Society of America, and also recent uh, first recipient of the William Harvey Distinguished Chair of Cardiovascular Medicine. So congratulations and thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Melissa. I'm just delighted to be here with you. Perfect. So you'll be presenting on the final analysis of the Momentum 3 trial tomorrow. For the fellows in training, can you remind us a little bit about the design of the Momentum sure. study and the technology that's used uh, in the HeartMate 3? Sure. So Momentum uh, 3 uh, is a randomized trial testing the current generation HeartMate 2 pump uh, LVAD to the HeartMate 3 pump. Now why uh, do we need a new generation of ventricular assist device like the HeartMate 3 and why are we testing it? The, the patients who are treated with uh, a HeartMate 2 left ventricular assist device do quite well. Uh, they have reasonable survival out to two years, but that survival is not a very forgiving survival. The journey of that survival is uh, beleaguered by a, a number of complications in hemocompatibility related events. And um, these are pump thrombosis requiring pump exchange, uh, strokes for which uh, we've never really been able to reduce stroke rates in left ventricular assist device therapy, and bleeding complications. Now, Momentum 3 uh, tested the heart made three pump against this device, uh, which is a unique pump. The HeartMate 3 pump is a fully magnetically levitated rotor uh, mm -hmm. pump, which in fact uh, is frictionless. It also has the widest blood flow pathways, so that blood as it uh, moves through the device has the least exposure to shear stress. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, it's a hybrid pump because it also has an intrinsic pulsatility. So the pump revs itself up and then revs itself down um, in a way as to create a pulse rate of about 30 beats per minute. It's okay. a fixed pulse rate. Okay. So, uh, so the Momentum 3 trial was designed to really, really test this as a comparative effectiveness trial. A few interesting things about the trial. First is this is the largest left ventricular assist uh, device trial ever done, over a thousand patients. And Melissa, you know how hard it is to enroll uh, right. patients into this trial. Rematch, uh, which was uh, published in 2001 with the pulsatile uh, pump, uh, uh, the XVE versus medical therapy, had 120 patients yeah. uh, as an example. Exactly. Right. So, so we finally entered uh, into the era of big trials right. uh, in uh, advanced heart failure. So that's a good thing. The second thing about this trial is that uh, rather than uh, uh, subsidize the trial into uh, safety and then bridge to transplant and destination therapy, this is an all-comers trial. Third thing about this trial is that because uh, we were taking a risk uh, with um, uh, the large numbers of patients and we had no real way of powering it, um, uh, this was uh, constructed as an adaptive trial design with multiple pre-specified interim st stops in the trial. Uh, so uh, the first stop was in 300 patients at um, six months. So we wanted to look at the short term. Right. The second stop was in uh, another 300 uh, or so patients out to two years. And then this is three times as large. Right. So that's, in a nutshell, the Momentum 3 trial. Awesome. Yeah. Great, great. And so any, I know that you'll be presenting everything yeah. tomorrow, any insights that you can yeah. give to us in regard to the final analysis? Sure, sure. So the uh, the final analysis uh, is quite straightforward. Uh, the HeartMate 3 is clearly superior mm -hmm. to the HeartMate uh, 2 pump on the primary endpoint of survival free of a disabling stroke right. or the need for a uh, pump exchange for a malfunctioning pump. Okay. So that's pretty clear. Um, what is more exciting about the trial results is when you look at the journey um, uh, morbidity mm -hmm. uh, during uh, the trial, the uh, complications are reduced dramatically. So I'll give you an um, uh, idea about what um, uh, in the context of net clinical trial benefit, if you will. So if you were to choose the HeartMate 3 pump over the HeartMate 2 pump over a two-year period for 10 patients, you would save 2.2 pump exchanges, wow. two strokes, nearly seven major bleeds, of which four are gastrointestinal bleeds. Wow. So this is the one trial in which the number needed to treat is less than one. 
In other words, your, your choice of this uh, pump is guaranteed to have a better journey for your patient. Wow, that's excellent. <laughs> So, what do you think the future holds moving forward with the implementation of the HeartMate 3? Yeah. So, there are a, a, a number of things. So, clearly we have a superior device. Um, so, I think that the HeartMate 2 will be phased out. Okay. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, with this device, uh, there are two steps. The first is that with the, the demonstration that the device is clearly more forgiving, I think it should uh, give clinicians much more hope to refer patients for such therapy. You know, the clinicians who uh, look back and say, oh my God, you know, VADs are good, they save lives, but there's stroke rates, and there's this, and there's bleeding, and the patient is, you know, I'd rather not refer. I think it'll open up more uh, patients uh, to be referred for uh, such technology. But the one uh, thing for fellows that's really important is that we have really now finally shown that we can do a pragmatic large number trial and one of the things that we have not done in this space is uh, look at medical therapy adequately and so the next trial that we are going to do will focus on a HeartMate 3 versus HeartMate 3 a randomized trial but start to uh, look at differences in medical therapy so we are going to soon announce a trial and in fact uh, this is not public knowledge but the fellows are so wonderful I'm going to say it right here uh, so the next trial will uh, most likely be called ARIES okay. and this trial trial um, uh, will in fact investigate in a rigorous double-blind controlled manner whether aspirin is necessary. Interesting. Okay. And, and, and we're going to start to do this as a worldwide trial wow. for the first time. Device trials tend to be segregated right, regionally, right? right? And, and so this will be our first foray into convincing the field that you can do a large trial, you can do it worldwide, and you can do a placebo-controlled trial. So we are asking incrementally small questions on medical therapy while we wait for the next big uh, device to be introduced. That's awesome. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. It's obviously a really exciting time for advanced mechanical support and really exciting results. Thank you. Well, I could talk to you about this all day, but I think we're out of time. But thank you so much for joining us. And for more videos like this, please go to youtube.com slash bits on the go.